Alright, Saturday morning. Got a no cool call. And from what it's looking like right now, this thing is extremely undercharged. It's running 410A, 63 degrees outside. Saturation temperature is only about 66. Um, got an indoor coil that's below zero. So this thing's got a major leak in it somewhere. So we're going to be doing a leak search. I see a lot of saturation on this um, insulation. Temp cloud, I'm full deal with super heat and subcooling anyways, but this is definitely a low charge for sure. But. See a little bit of a sloppy weld there, but we'll see, we'll find out for sure. I'm gonna get my leak detector and we're gonna go to town on this thing. Meter. Definitely want to get a separate. I'm tired of doing my temperature through my electrical meter. I'm gonna be getting something different here soon. start working on taking these panels off already I already know what's gonna need to happen quarters I found a couple of really big oil spots down on the coil on this side here. You can see them right here. That's not dirt. I'm just going to get this stuff out of here real quick. This coil's fucked. That's dirt. See how I can wipe that away? That's dirt. The whole bottom of this coil is just saturated. It's hard to make out on camera, but yeah, this thing is hard. Alright. Get that shit out of here. Take the top off as well. <laughs> Disconnected the power, almost had a heart attack there for a second. So we got confirmation on the leak. I thought the camera was recording, but it was not. But I had to use this little like precision tool to get in between the coil fins and uh it went off on the top. It went off on the top right about here, and then it went off down here. So we're gonna be replacing this coil, it's still under warranty. I'm gonna charge her up refrigerant. So she can cool because it's Saturday. I won't be able to get parts. I won't even be able to call the distributor until Monday. And then uh what our whatever our schedule is to uh you know get this changed out, but this will be a good one to uh we're gonna have to take this whole coil out and replace it obviously. But uh pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Depending on how the coil comes, it's just gonna have to unsweat there and rebraze it in. So 
I am going to charge her back up, but I'm going to go up to the air handler and make sure there's nothing going on up there. Might as well take the leak detector with me. Alright, we've got the unit all put back together now. Just got the fan all hooked back up. I'm not... Probably those I will. Lots of oil. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of oil. Tons of oil. Go leak, get the leak detector real quick, but that is gonna. There's a ton of oil. It's just oozing out. We're gonna fill her up with some refrigerant. The part's not available for like a week, so we need to give her some kind of cooling. It's gonna be in the 90s this week, so. This is what uh, we agreed upon. Let me just give her some cooling. Okay. I'm gonna turn the 
thermostat back on. That customer has the Nest thermostat, so it, he's on its auto program right now, so he's turning off the unit, but I just bypassed it right now. We're gonna, I'm gonna give her as much cooling as I can. You know. Like I said, we're a week out on the part. We'll give her some cooling. 90 degrees without any AC sucks. paper right now. Yeah, it's all paper. It's charging real slow. We'll put the rest of this can in. There wasn't much in it. That'll at least give her some cooling. Let's shoot the vents. Oh, <laughs> 
gonna shoot the vents real quick. Heard something hissing. Keep thinking this is a bug, it's a spider web. 